They will no longer teach each one his neighbor or each one his brother, saying, Know Yahweh, for all of them will know me from their smallest and up to their greatest, declares Yahweh, for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin. I will no longer remember. Thank you, Jesus, that you will no longer remember our sins. We are forgiven. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. What a promise we have straight from the Lord to those who believe. Truly, I say to you, the sons of men will have forgiveness for all their sins and for all the evil words they say. Beautiful Jesus. Blessed are those whose disobedience is forgiven and whose sins are pardoned. Blessed is the person whom the Lord no longer considers sinful. The promises of our Lord to the praise of the glory of his grace in which he has made us accepted in the one having been loved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Be kind to each other, sympathetic, forgiving each other as God has forgiven you through Christ. Giving praise to the Father who has given us a part in the heritage of the saints in light, who has made us free from the power of evil and given us a place in the kingdom of the Son of His love in whom we have our salvation, the forgiveness of sins. Praise God. And you being dead in the trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he made alive together with him, having forgiven you all the trespasses. Put up with each other and forgive each other. If anyone has a complaint, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And nearly everything is purified in blood according to the Torah and apart from the shedding of blood. There is no forgiveness. Praise God. And I will keep no more memory of their sins and of their evil doings. Now where there is forgiveness of these, there is no more offering for sin. No more offerings promised from the Lord. And by that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Christ died once for our sins. An innocent person died for those who are guilty. Christ did this to bring you to God when his body was put to death and his spirit was made alive.